All right, you guys. So today we are going to save the rebellion, save the dream with the Black Series Rogue One, a Star Wars story, Saw Guerrera six inch figure, guys. So I am extremely excited to have this figure in hand. This figure started showing up at various targets and maybe I believe a few Walmarts uh, across the country a few weeks ago. Uh, I got mine in from Hasbro just this past week, and uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this figure, so I definitely want to get a first-hand look at this guy. So guys, let's go ahead and get a look at this guy, starting with the box. So of course, as always, we have our Star Wars The Black Series logo. We have our figure in the window, which will not be uh, a feature that we will have for very long with these packages. Rogue One, a Star Wars story banner, Saw Guerrera, your warning for an up and Hasbro logo. And then of course, off to the side, we have a illustration of our character, which is really, really nice with the Jetta background behind him. Very cool. Actually, his somewhat fortress that uh, and that you can say that he had out in uh, Jeddah uh, behind him, which is really, really cool. And you have the aqua green color fading up into the black and white and our Saw Gerrera character holding his staff, Saw Gerrera at the bottom. Very, very nice illustration of the uh, character and figure. And then for the back of the box, you have your illustration of the character again. Saw Guerrero Black Series logo, attention information on all of your other readers. is number 10 in the Rogue One, a Star Wars story line of figures, guys. And then you also have your small blurb on your character, which we will read now. Guerrero is bunkered on the ancient world of Jeddah, coordinating a prolonged insurgency against the Imperial occupation. His ailing health does little to wither his resolve to fight. So really cool blurb and very nice little information on our character from Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Very, very cool stuff. So of course, as always, guys, we're going to open the package up, get a look at our figure and all of the accessories, the detail on the figure. And of course, we will get our figure in a very cool diorama. So please stay tuned. All right, you guys. So we have our Saw Guerrera out of the box and uh, first impressions. I do like him a lot. Uh, I think he is a very good looking figure, the face sculpt, all of the detail. Uh, and this is just off of first appearances. I haven't taken a close look yet, uh, as we will do very shortly here. But uh, again, first impressions uh, with this figure. Uh, I, I, I do like him uh, a, a lot. Uh, now, so uh, one of the things I wanted to get into with this figure, and I usually don't discuss price point uh, with figures, but we have seen an increase uh, across the board with the Black Series uh, figures and of course some of the larger figures which have always been a little bit more expensive than the normal figures uh, have uh, obviously uh, increased dramatically in, in cost and uh, Saw Guerrera happens to fall into that particular category. Uh, I believe this figure retails around somewhere in the area of um, 35 bucks, I'm assuming some, somewhere around there. I, I forget exactly uh, what I paid for this uh, particular figure. I, I am a Prime member with ha Hasbro Pulse and this is where this figure came from. So I didn't have to pay for shipping uh, for this figure, but obviously paying tax, especially here in California, uh, it does uh, obviously add to that particular cost for the uh, figure. So I believe this figure comes in around uh, all when it's all said and done around $42 is a rather expensive figure, especially for a six inch figure. That is definitely a discussion point 
uh, in the collecting community. And especially when you're paying that type of price, you want to get a figure that uh, is going to come with a few accessories and, and be nicely detailed and very, very articulated and, and able to uh, be posed and, and, and stand in, 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 in ways that uh, would please the uh, purchaser, the uh, collector. So with all of that in mind, uh, let's get a closer look at our Saw Guerrero figure, guys. So giving you guys a closer look at your 6-inch Black Series Saw Guerrero figure. Uh, again, I think he is a very, very nice looking figure. Very, very nicely detailed. There is a lot here. And even in the way of accessories, not accessories that I believe that you can detach from this particular figure, but you can almost count the breathing apparatus as an additional accessory. And uh, of course you have the gun there that's in the holster, you have a staff. Um, and then of course you have the mask there that's attached to his suit. I'm assuming this is like a Bacta suit. For him which is helping him to kind of sustain all of his injuries that he has suffered over the years, which is very cool. And I believe we're gonna to get to see how he suffered some of those injuries in the upcoming Andor series, which I will be doing reactions to guys. So if you didn't know, uh, you definitely wanna to subscribe to the channel and check out my reactions. I do reactions to all of the Disney plus Star Wars shows. So very, very good detail here on your figure. I do like the cape as well. I wish it was a soft goods cape, but that's, that's cool. I'll take this, not bad. Very, very nice figure there. So for your articulation, your Saul Guerrero is gonna give you a straight arm like so. It's gonna give you an elbow bend that goes back about that far. He is giving you the 360 action, I believe but you do have the shoulder pad there that might hinder that a bit. Your T-pose for your Saw Guerrero figure. Your twist is at the elbow. You also have a twist in the wrist as well. There is a up and down hinge in the right wrist. And for the left wrist, you have a back and forth hinge in the left wrist. In the leg area, he's gonna kick out like so. He's gonna give you a knee high that goes up about that high. He kicks back, going back about that far. His widest stance is gonna be about that far. You have a twist at the thigh. There's also a twist at the knee as well. In the ankle, it's gonna go down about that far. And that's with the robotic foot that you can see there, which is really nice. See the detail on it, very cool. Goes up about that far. And then for his human foot, he goes down about that far up, about that far. Then of course you have the rocker in both ankles as well. Very cool. In the torso, he's gonna go down about that far, back about that far. You have a really, really good range there. You have that mid joint there. So he has some really good articulation. You can turn him left to right, very good. In the head area, he's gonna go down about that far, look up about that far. Your left to right twist and head nod action. So really, really cool stuff. Very cool and awesome articulation with your six inch Black Series Saw Guerrero figure. Very cool. So for your accessories, you have a staff here, which is very nicely detailed. You have the little bits of silver and the brown in between. Um, it does not come apart. Um, I don't believe it's any type of weapon uh, that we know of. Um, be cool if it was. It kind of does have a lightsaber look to it. Um, why Saw would have a lightsaber, I wouldn't know, but um, it is very cool though. Very nice little accessory. Then of course you also have his weapon, which is a very, very nice weapon. Uh, you have the silver paint apps there. And then there's, you have the little 
bits of brown on the handle for your weapon. So uh, some really, really nice stuff there and very, very nicely detailed weapon for your Saw Gerrera figure. Very, very nice. So one of the other accessories that comes with your figure is the breathing apparatus, which is attached to your figure, which is really cool. And you have the pump there that's on the side, and then you have the uh, tube that goes into his chest. And then from the back, you have another tube that's connected to the canister. And then of course you have the mask there, which is really, really nice. So the mask is connected to that hook that holds it in place on his suit. And you can unhook the mask there, and I'm gonna do so now. So when you unhook the mask from the suit, now for mine, and I don't know if it's because um, mine is broken, um, but the hook is its own separate piece that's actually just hanging off of the mask itself, um, which is really interesting. I don't know why it's not connected to his belt somewhere. Uh, and I don't know if it was supposed to be connected to this piece, but um, it doesn't, I don't believe that's the case because the, the pieces don't seem to fit. So maybe it is supposed to come off, but uh, interesting enough, my, the hook actually came, uh, is separate from the rest of the figure. Fortunately, you just don't get that articulation to fully have him holding the mask to his face. So that's unfortunate. And then even placing the mask up to his face, um, the neckline of the suit kind of gets in the way of uh, placing it properly over his nose and mouth, unfortunately. So that's a little disappointing with this figure. However, what is cool is you can have him holding the mask away from his face. So in between him getting his oxygen, when he's speaking, uh, you can pose him holding the mask, which is not bad. So that's kind of cool. Very nice. And then one other thing I wanted to point out is you have this additional hook here that kind of helps to hold the mask in place as well. And then also the shoulder pad, it does actually come off. If you want to take the shoulder pad off, it, it pegs into the suit here. And then it also pegs, I believe back here, it, it, I believe it is also holding the uh, cape in place as well. Another interesting feature for your figure. A little earlier, we were discussing price point, which I said I really don't like to really get into, but I think it is warranted since we have seen a significant price increase in the uh, six inch and as, uh, as well as the uh, other uh, scales in the uh, line for Hasbro. So I wanted to get you a comparison of a couple of figures that would be right in line as far as the price point is concerned where Saw uh, is at this moment. Now the Zeb, and Wrecker here, um, they were a little bit cheaper than Saw. They, they uh, didn't come in um, at during the pandemic or at the point where uh, we saw the increase uh, affect the six inch line of figures. Uh, so they were a little bit cheaper than Saw, but they would be right in that same price point. They're basically the same, what Hasbro would consider the same type of figure as far as price point is concerned. So when we compare the two other figures here, uh, we see that Saw is somewhat in their size. And I think the reasoning for the increase in price for this particular figure versus a, a regular figure, which I believe comes in at about $25. Uh, these guys are in the, would be in the low 30s, low to mid 30s. Uh, it, uh, U.S. dollars here, guys, that, that I'm discussing. So the reasoning, again, is because these figures are a little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier, uh, and you can see that Saw is a bulky guy, um, but he isn't as tall uh, as our two uh, bulky guys here, uh, which would make sense. I don't believe Saw is a, a very, very big guy uh, as far as height is concerned. Uh, but he is a hefty guy. He is a, a uh, he, he eats hearty, 
uh, I guess you would say. And so, uh, uh, again, that would be the reasoning for the uh, price point for this particular figure. So I just wanted to get you a look uh, at what your uh, price point is for your Saw Carrera uh, versus the uh, regular figures, which again, even at the increased price are a few dollars cheaper than these figures would be. I just thought I would give you guys that comparison. All right, you guys. So we're gonna get our figure in a very cool diorama here. So please stay tuned. <laughs> series Saw Guerrero figure from Rogue One A Star Wars Story. Very very cool figure. I think he is absolutely awesome. I love the detail on this figure. I with a lot of detail on this uh, particular figure. And then of course I also like the face sculpt likeness. It is very very good, very accurate, I believe. The only negatives that I have for this particular figure is the fact that he cannot actually hold the mask to his face. Unfortunately, that because of the bulkiness of his suit uh, and the articulation, uh, he's unable to fully put that mask uh, to his face. And um, I don't know what other accessories this particular figure could have come with, but for the price point, I think it should have come with a couple of more accessories. It is a very nice size figure, but it is nowhere near the Zeb Aurelius figure or the Wrecker figure uh, that we received at a very similar uh, price point. And while you have him standing here next to Baze Malbus, uh, you can see he's not that much bigger than Baze. Uh, they're pretty much about the same size. Figure. However, uh, they are most definitely at two significantly different price points, uh, which again is a very interesting point and perhaps maybe Hasbro may want to take a look at how they're pricing uh, some of their figures. Um, is this figure worth the price point that it's at? I'm not sure if that is uh, the case with this figure, even though it is a very nice figure. It is a figure that I most definitely wanted in this scale. The only other issue is that there's not really too much in regards to a diorama that you can do with this figure because he didn't get a lot of screen time in Rogue One. I'm sure we're gonna get a different version of this particular character from the Andor series. So perhaps there will be more that we can do with that particular figure in regards to dioramas are concerned. Um, but other than that, he is a very awesome figure and, and I absolutely love him. And uh, I think he's gonna look great on anyone's shelf. However, due to the price point and uh, some of the articulation, uh, particularly with the mask, uh, those would be my two 
negatives for this particular figure, guys. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are in regards to the six inch scale Saw Guerrero figure for Rogue One, a Star Wars story, guys. Have you picked up this figure? What are your thoughts about this figure? Please let me know and put those comments down below. As I had mentioned earlier in the video, guys, I will be doing reactions to the Andor series. So you most definitely want to like and subscribe for that type of content if you enjoy that content, guys. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father to the son, to the OB-1 Force Ghost. May the Force be with you always.